Scholars. Today's mini class for you is going to be on ways to improve your squat. Something Katie and I have been working on lately is building her squat, both the strength, the stamina, and also the mobility and range of motion. Squatting is a super important um, skill. There's so many times in your life you're going to have to squat. It's a great way to strengthen your legs, to build bone density, etc. And it's um, an exercise that costs no money that you can do at home, at the park, and really do anywhere in the world. Yes, equipment and weights are great for it, but you really don't actually need any props to do it. So, there's a few ways we can work to strengthen and improve your squat. Um, to start, you can hold on to a pole. I'm using my equipment in my studio, but if you had a pole in your gym, if you had something sturdy you could hold on at home, or you know, a park bench, a tree, etc., would be a good, or even um, at a playground, be a good place to practice your squat. So you're going to take your feet about shoulder width apart, and your feet are turned out just slightly, so at about a 45 degree angle. You'll hold onto the pole, you engage the abdominals, of course, you reach through the crown of the head, find that Pilates posture, and then you're going to hold onto the pole, and so using as little uh, hand strength as possible, begin to walk your hands down. Ideally, you're walking all the way down so you come to this deep squat position, but you go to where you're able to go today. Pull the abs and reach through the crown of the head as you go. I don't want to see you tip forward. Imagine you're sliding down a wall that's behind you. Again, walk down and you're really digging through your heels. The dig of the heels is essential to finding that glute and hip strength. Good. Again, and you can play with how slow you go walking down, how slow and painful it is to come on up. And then you can also work to see how little do you use your hands. How little can you use your hands to come up? So I would say practicing that for eight to 10 is a really good way to build the strength and work on the range of motion that we need in the hip, the knee, and the ankle joint. Improving your squat is a combination of both strength of your hips, your legs, your abs, really your whole body, but also mobility of your hip, your knee, and your ankle joint. Now, if you felt like you were really limited, as to how far you can, how low you can go in your squat, you can um, take uh, something under your heels. So in my studio, I have what's called a two by four. Not necessary to actually work on this at home. You could fold up a nice thick blanket or a nice thick towel, or maybe even place two symmetrical sized books under your feet. So I'm going to show you now, holding on to the pipe. Um, so again, I'll step my feet wide to so about the width of my shoulders. My feet are at about a 45 degree angle. Again, abs are in, shoulders are open, crown of the head is reaching to the ceiling. And again, you grab your pipe and you squat down again. And you'll notice it's definitely easier to stay upright. It's definitely probably more available or a deeper squat is likely more available to you as you come up. Now, if, you feel, if you're feeling the benefits of having this under, see if you can let go of your pipe and not use it at all, or maybe at some point towards the end you need it, and then see if you can come up, maybe at some point you need the pipe. So you can kind of use this as like a gauge, like, okay, towards the end I need my pipe, then as you come up, oh, I need the pipe to get started, and then I don't, and then hopefully eventually, you're so lifted in your abs, so strong and mobile in your hips, your knees, and your ankles, you can squat all the way down, and all the way up. And again, you can build to practicing about eight to 10 to um, build the strength and the stamina. There's so many ways to squat and to build your squat, but those are two of my favorite ways to start to incorporate it that are really available and really require no props at all. If you have any questions on squatting or want to check out more of my workouts, there's many on Katie's work wake up call. And most importantly, a little Pilates goes a long way. I really hope you found this informative. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. See you soon.